And Nathan, we all know you've been busy and such. Well, sort of. Um, sort of. After, uh, well, we did Game of Your Life in between seasons of Life yeah, Harley. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think um, we did that, and then I went back after the after Game of Your Life for the last season. Yeah. So we did that, and then like two days after the show ended, I ended up um, getting a, a movie that... Um, I'm excited for that. Yeah, Yay! I'm excited for it too. Uh, we, we shot it in July of 2012 to like the end of September. Um, so it was a really long shoot. It was longer than anything I'd ever done, um, for a movie That's at least. Really long. Yeah. Um, when, say, when was it? July to September. Yeah. It was a long time. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what game of your life was like a month, a little bit less? Yeah, it was mm-hmm. about, two, about two and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was, uh, it was intense. It was, it was really fun and, and different. We actually just, uh, just recently got to see a screening of it how it's going to turn out and, and look in the theaters and I've heard that since then I can't say for absolutely yeah airplane shoot it down I can't Hold say for absolutely certain but uh that helicopter looks just like a microphone we're, we're recording in Dana's backyard by the way it does oh my goodness it does that's crazy honestly it's, that it's helicopter looks circle. exactly like With if you turn this sideways right, really? right there right there oh wow it totally it's does right there. it's just a circle the helicopter um, looks like my microphone so any hoozle <laughs> What's up, buddy? Um, so I've heard that it may or may not be converted to 3D, and it may or may Ooh. not be an IMAX. Yes! Ooh. So if it is... I, oh my gosh, if we get to see you in 3D IMAX, I'm that is I, amazing. I, awesome. I'm there opening day. I'm, I'm there what I want to do is have like a what viewing party, day. like an arc light or something, <laughs> yeah. like after it comes out and just like all of our friends and stuff, anybody yeah. who wants to come, like see it in the Cinerama Dome, because I'll am i I'll bet you it's probably going to be That'd there. That'd be cool. Yeah. So if so, I want to do that. And then, um, so I guess it'll, it'll it's coming out August 8th. Um, the trailer, the first trailer is coming out uh, next Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Nice. Um, I got and, nothing to do, I'll watch it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> um, well, I think it's going to be online, which is which is cool, rather than having to go to a theater to watch it. But yeah. what's really interesting is they they have kind of a creative like advertising thing. I just saw a couple movie reviewers saying that Warner Brothers sent them like emergency preparedness kits with oh. like actual stuff in it, like flashlights and utility tools yeah. and all that and all that kind of stuff. That's um, awesome. With like a bag that says like into the storm in theaters August eighth. So cool. like they're already so promoting cool. it way far in advance. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully you know the the word gets out and disaster movies generally do pretty darn well, yeah, especially yeah, worldwide. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm mm-hmm. I'm hoping that that. Did you, you have know, to do a lot of running from the disaster? So much running. You're in so such many good shape. Points. It's from, you're, yeah. you've been I, running that whole movie. Well, the sad <laughs> thing is I, I I'm gonna look very different. Like my my reps watched it with me and. I was by the time the movie was over, I between now and then I've lost like forty pounds, which is ridiculous. Wow. Like I didn't even know I had that much that much to, to lose. lose. I, no, not at all. I found it all. for you. I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. But it was it was really bad because it was my first time being on a set and not having a parent there to tell me like, no, you can't eat that junk food for sure. You know, <laughs> and it was there was parts of the movie that were just so miserable because we were constantly like cold and rained on. Yeah. And just absolutely like uncomfortable, just all the time. Was it controlled rain and warm? Yeah, it was. It was, was, actual, it was really cold. It was machines, but they didn't warm it, oh. so it was, it was very real. With hundred mile an hour fans cooling it off for us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kiss the water um, wasn't cold. Yeah, so the, the part that you look freezing, you actually are. Yeah, a lot of cold. the movie is actual survival. Like there's then <laughs> so there was cool. not that much surviving the set. Yeah, but the problem was, I came. I would always like get back to my hotel room and just be like chips. And soda and anything that will make me feel better <laughs> about what happened today. And it got to the point where they even they did it on set too. Like they were the the last couple weeks we were doing like the final finale sequence on a sound stage in, in Michigan. And um, it got to everybody was so we were just doing like the same little bits over and over again, but it took so much out of us every take, even if we weren't like really on. So they started like to to make everybody happy. They started like bringing in crepe trucks and like cupcakes <laughs> and barbecue, like all this stuff, just to be that like, we awesome. know it's been a rough day, but here have some fat, you know. Uh, and yep. it made everything better because it comfort does. food is awesome. It but is. then I gained it a ridiculous is. amount of weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It so is. It is. So I gained a ton of weight, and when I got back, I had to knock it all off. And you know, since since then, it's it's felt really good, and I. Can fit into clothes now a lot better than, than I used to, and I'm happy. No, you look great. You look, you look super great. Fit. Thanks, guys. What was it like working <laughs> with the cast of Into the Storm? 
They were great. Yeah, they were Titus Titus knows because he was there for most of yeah. the shoot. Um, Mark Brand was though. Wait, which Arlen? Oh yeah, Arlen. Um, he was great too. Uh, who's, who's in the cast? Tell us. Okay, case. so the main breakdown is Richard Armitage, who Ooh. was Thorn Oakshire in The Hobbit. He yeah. was my father in it. <gasps> awesome. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, he's that my daddy. That is awesome. Um, You're Thorn's son now. I'm Thorn's son. Wow. So cool. Uh, and then I want to be Thorin's son. Yeah. I want to be Thorin. I want to so, be Thorin. Yeah, so it's it's him and me, and then my older brother uh, is played by Max Deacon, who was in Hatfields and McCoys. Nice. Um, he uh, yeah he he plays my older brother by like one year. Um, and originally, fun fact, I actually auditioned for his part. Really? Um, because originally it was gonna be uh, younger him. brothers. Younger? Well, no, originally it wasn't brothers. It was oh. like the kid and his best friend. Mm-hmm. Um, so I auditioned for the kid, and then they said, we're going with uh, with somebody else who looks a little bit older, um, but they've decided they, they want to keep you, so they're actually rewriting the script to make it so that rather than the best friend, you're the little brother, because you guys look a little bit alike. Oh. So, um, and, and also compared to the dad. So I ended up being rewritten as the younger brother of the guy that I auditioned for. Mm. Um, and so it also has it's it centers around a bunch of different perspectives because it's a found footage movie. Um, so for us, it's like uh, time capsules. Me and my brother are doing time capsules for the high school. But then on the other side, it's also um, a group of storm chasers who are like like hunting for tornadoes. And so Matt Walsh, who is on Veep right now, yeah. uh, and he's in like Ted and a bunch of other of those funny movies. Um, he is like the head storm chaser guy. Uh, and then Sarah Wayne Callies who was Lori Grimes on The Walking Dead, is, uh, <laughs> is like the lead scientist of the group. And then Jeremy Sumter plays one of the camera guys in the Who's group. Peter Pan, right? Yeah, Peter Pan. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then me and Titus's buddy Arlen is another one of the camera guys. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, and then uh, Alicia Dedman Carey, who's this phenomenal young Australian actress, is like the, the kind of love interest of my older brother. So it all centers around like our different perspectives of, of the storm and... Um, and it was it was an amazing time getting to getting to know everybody and, and learn from everybody and it all you know in the in the it sounds so good, like the face of adversity like everybody just really kind of came together and, and made a really cool project so it was great seeing You're fighting it with storms you yeah gotta come mm-hmm. together yeah I'm mm-hmm. now gonna refer to you as Nathan Oakenshield Nathan Oakenshield I will take the <laughs> rest of the time I know you <laughs> Oaken Squire Oaken Squire <laughs> Nathan Oakencress 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 um. But yeah, that was great, and uh, and I can't wait to see what it what it does for everybody. We can't wait to see it. Mm-hmm. I want you guys so to see it. I want to quickly. Oh, well, let us know when that, that day the the dome comes around. It's yeah. probably going to be August eighth. I want to uh, do it like that's on fantastic. open. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome. Please let me. Know. I'm not working, so I mean, hey. There you go. <laughs> and it's on a Friday night anyway, so it should be. Normally, wonderful. people like well, people like us, people like Adam and I would probably dress up for like premieres and such. Can we dress yeah. like? Yeah, it's kind of hard to. I'll dress in like gray. Just yeah. wear like, like cloud khaki, you khaki button downs and cargo pants. Yeah. We'll be storm huh. You wear all yeah. yellow. You wear all yellow. will make you a lightning. Just watch oh, no, Twister. I was, I was carrying a fan around. Yeah, yeah I was nice. Carrying a fan. Yeah. The whole time. Go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just like, and just spin around with in the fan. <laughs> <laughs> that was honestly kind of the funny thing because it was it definitely was an ensemble cast movie there wasn't really a particular way to pick out like the lead yeah. mm. but in hindsight the lead is the tornado because it, they did a, such a phenomenal <laughs> job making that thing the star of of this movie because it's it's a spectacle you know mm. and honestly like it's everybody did very well in it but plot wise it's not like there's a hard hitting like Ugh, conflict. It's like we're all just trying to survive this storm. Yeah. You're watching it because it's an amazing visual effects spectacle that's gonna like leave you in computer generated awe. You're not watching it because it's gonna be like, wow, that like impacted me as a human being. You know. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 not like uh, it's prob- survival. Yeah, mm-hmm. survival. it's probably not gonna be like a critically acclaimed thing. It's it's just gonna be something that the public yeah, will enjoy seeing. I, w- you know? I want to see I a hope- poster where the storm is credited. Credited Probably. first. Uh-huh. Like yeah. Nathan Cress. Sorry. Tornado. Sorry. The tornado. <laughs> the tornado. Uh-huh. Nathan Cress. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so that's all that I have to say about it. Yay. That's cool. 